Did you know that swimming for only 30 minutes a day is one of the best ways to burn a ton of calories and transform your body? I'm going to show you exactly how swimming impacts your muscles, heart health, mental well-being, and more. Plus, I'll even explain three of the best swimming techniques and how each one affects the body differently. As you take a plunge into the pool, lake, or ocean each day, you'll start to notice many changes in your body, from your joints and lungs to your mood and stress levels. But one of the most immediate physical changes you'll experience from swimming every day is an improvement in muscle tone and strength. Swimming engages nearly every major muscle group in your body, including your core, arms, legs, back, and shoulders. The resistance of the water acts like a natural weight as you pull yourself through it, challenging your muscles to work harder and grow stronger. As you progress, you'll build more muscle definition and increase your overall endurance. The constant push and pull against the water's resistance helps build lean muscle, giving you a more toned appearance without the bulk people sometimes worry about when considering weightlifting. What's even better is that at the same time as building your muscles, swimming simultaneously promotes strong lungs and increased cardiovascular health, even if you're recovering from an injury. Before I get into that, let's talk about the most common reason people take up exercise, weight loss. Swimming's ability to burn calories and promote fat loss is undeniable. A 30-minute swimming session can burn a substantial number of calories, with the exact number depending on your weight, your swimming intensity, and the type of swim technique you use. I'll explain which swimming techniques to try and how they affect your workout later on in the video, so stick around. On average, you can burn as many as 400 calories in just half an hour of swimming. This high caloric expenditure, coupled with a balanced diet, can lead to significant weight loss over time. By keeping your heart rate elevated, swimming also boosts your metabolism, helping your body continue to burn calories even after you've left the water. I personally think that's one of the coolest benefits from swimming. You're telling me I can continue to burn calories even after I stop working out? Sign me up, I like that deal. Many people deal with heart disease and other cardiovascular conditions, and swimming is one of the best types of exercise for improving cardiovascular health. Daily swimming is an excellent aerobic exercise that strengthens the heart and improves its efficiency in pumping blood. Over time, this can lower your resting heart rate and reduce blood pressure, decreasing your risk of cardiovascular disease such as heart attacks and strokes. Along with increased lung capacity, which I'll discuss more in a few minutes, swimming is an incredible exercise for improving your overall endurance and making everyday activities easier. Meanwhile, the wide range of motion required for various swim strokes such as the freestyle, breaststroke, and butterfly help to stretch your muscles and improve joint flexibility. With the buoyancy of the water supporting your body, you can stretch and extend your muscles and joints with a reduced risk of injury. By swimming every day, you can gradually develop a greater range of motion without the strain that can come with land-based exercises. Over time, you'll find that your flexibility improves, which can contribute to better overall posture and reduced risk of injuries. Speaking of injuries, swimming is an ideal exercise for rehabilitation. Because of its gentle yet effective approach to exercise, physical therapists often recommend swimming as a part of recovery plans. If you're recovering from a joint or muscle injury, swimming offers a low-impact way to stay active and keep improving cardiovascular strength while you're not at 100%. Floating in the water reduces the stress on your body, making it a safer environment for rehabbing injuries. Even if you're not managing an injury, the low-impact aspect of swimming also makes it a fantastic activity for people of all ages to improve their joint health and mobility. Swimming places minimal stress on your body and can help loosen up stiff joints and tight muscles. It's particularly beneficial if you deal with arthritis or joint pain, as you can exercise without aggravating the condition. If you lift weights, I'm sure you've probably dealt with joint pain in your shoulders or elbows. The water's gentle resistance strengthens the muscles around your joints, providing better support and helping to reduce pain over time. I already told you about how effective swimming is at improving your cardiovascular health, and this activity can also do wonders for your respiratory health. If you've ever swam laps in a pool or treaded water at the beach, you already know how quickly swimming increases your heart rate and challenges your lungs. Good swimming form involves controlling your breathing, and this combined with its cardio benefits make it extremely effective for enhancing your lung capacity and efficiency. Over time, swimmers often develop stronger respiratory muscles and greater control over their breathing. And this translates into better respiratory health and improved performance in other activities. There are two additional physical perks of swimming that are important to your overall well-being, muscular relaxation and decompression. But now you might think that swimming sounds like the opposite of relaxation. But while it can be intense, challenging, and a serious fat-burning, muscle-building exercise, it can also be a great way to relax and relieve tension. The buoyancy of the water can also bring significant relief from back pain. It reduces the gravitational pull on your joints and spine, which can lead to a feeling of lightness and relief from aches and pains. 
This decompression is particularly beneficial after a long day sitting at a desk or intense workout session involving squats, deadlifts, running, or carrying weights. If you're getting value from this video so far, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below. It's a simple way to support the channel and allow more people to see the video. So, I've been covering all the physical benefits of swimming so far, but this activity's benefits for your mental well-being should not be underestimated. Regular swimming can boost self-esteem and confidence as you feel the positive changes in your body and fitness levels. Swimming has also been known to reduce people's stress levels and improve their mood, thanks in part to the release of endorphins during this intense physical activity. Meanwhile, the rhythmic nature of swimming combined with the soothing sensation of floating in water can have a meditative effect. Once you're in the zone during a swim session, your mind clears and it's easier to let go of anxiety. You can process the day ahead or reflect on the day you've just had and prepare yourself for responsibilities in the near future. Not to mention, swimming is one of the more fun exercises you can do. After all this talk about the physical demands of swimming and its soothing, tension-relieving effects, it's also worth noting that daily swimming can help you sleep better. Trust me, the physical exertion of swimming is going to tire you out, even if you're only swimming with moderate intensity. That makes it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. The relaxation and stress-reducing effects of swimming also contribute to better sleep hygiene. Many people find that a good swim helps them reset their sleep patterns, leading to a more restful and restorative sleep. And because sleep is so important to your recovery and overall health, a good night's rest will leave you feeling even better for tomorrow's swimming workout and all the rest of your responsibilities. There are many swim techniques that you can do, but I'm going to focus on the three most popular ones. If you're a beginner, choose one of these to start with. Freestyle swimming is probably the first type of swimming you think of. It involves alternating arm strokes and a flutter kick with your chest down in the water. The alternating arm movements target your shoulders, chest, back, and core, while the flutter kick strengthens your quads, hamstrings, and calves. Freestyle swimming keeps your heart rate up, improving overall cardiovascular health and lung capacity, and reaching and rotating your arms improves your shoulder and upper back flexibility. The breaststroke is a beginner-friendly technique that involves a simultaneous arm pull and frog-like kick. You can keep your face above water for this style. The breaststroke uses all the major muscle groups and also helps improve shoulder and back range of motion. Plus, coordinating your arm and leg movements simultaneously enhances your body awareness. The butterfly stroke is the most demanding style of swimming. This technique involves a powerful underwater dolphin kick and synchronized arm strokes. The butterfly builds incredible upper body strength, particularly in your shoulders, chest, and back. Your core and legs will get a rigorous workout too. The butterfly stroke is a fast-paced style of swimming that significantly elevates your heart rate, maximizing cardiovascular benefits. It also requires exceptional shoulder mobility and flexibility in your back and core. Beyond specific muscle groups, all three strokes offer fantastic overall health benefits. While freestyle is excellent for speed and exercise, breaststroke might be ideal for beginners. The butterfly is demanding but rewarding, and if you can do it, you'll achieve major strength and mobility gains in your upper body faster with this style. Now, let's take a look into if swimming is a better option than running or cycling. Although running and cycling are effective exercises, they either target one specific muscle group or focus more on cardiovascular health than strength training and mobility. Swimming, on the other hand, trains your muscles, legs, heart, and joints to be strong and flexible. If you have hip, knee, or ankle issues, running and cycling may be difficult or put you at risk of injury. But swimming is a low-impact exercise you can do with less of a risk of aggravating injuries or other health conditions. And because it's a gentle exercise, you can do it every day. In fact, you might start to love the feeling of relief you get from a daily swimming session, especially if you sit or stand all day at work and experience back pain. With just 30 minutes of swimming a day, you'll get an intense, full-body workout that benefits both the body and mind. Be sure to share this video with a friend that you think would also benefit from it. 